Okay. New episode of DAI's hit this week, again with a photographer from the past or the present that will serve um, as a pretext for us to understand maybe where artificial intelligence uh, is right now in terms of photography and understanding uh, photographic style. Um, so let's uh, directly ask um, ChatGPT for the bio, and then we'll have Dali and Midjourney illustrate uh, the terms um, in photographs. Francis McLaughlin Hill, 1916-2013, was an American fashion photographer who was active from the 1940s to the 1980s. So the first two pictures are, as usual, for those who know the playlist, I've been changing the format slightly to try to make it more entertaining and not as long as last week, for example. Um, the two first pictures are, I ask, I've requested uh, the AI for a portrait of somebody who looks like the photographer in a style similar to that photographer. And yeah, here are the first two pictures, like almost the whole rest of the presentation. Picture on the left will be Dali and the picture on the right will be mid-journey in terms uh, for us to be able to compare. She began her career as a model before transitioning to photography in the 1940s. Okay, so those two, two first illustrations. In, in that first part, uh, linked to the bio, uh, I, I, I tend to try to create prompts that bring the information, the historical information, with the style of the photographer. So it, it's sometimes also a good way for me to try to understand in what way I will have the best results. Um, here I think Dali on the left makes a good uh, photograph, um, good image of maybe what could be uh, the photographer's style. Um, interesting nonetheless, the, the pauses. I think Dali is always more interesting, uh, at least until now, in terms of how it composes and how it uh, presents uh, its subjects when there's um, human subjects uh, in the scenes. McLaughlin Gill is best known for her work as a fashion photographer for Vogue and Harper's Bazaar, where she captured the work of many prominent designers, including Christian Dior and Coco Chanel. Here again, I think the picture from Dali is really interesting. There's definitely something, when I talk about this photographer, that's linked to projected uh, shadows. Um, second, I've had many other results, but the second example here uh, has this weird shadow behind, which kind of could look like the one from that model. Uh, the pause is more interesting, in my opinion. The style is interesting too. Uh, on the right, it's more classical with Midjourney. Uh, again, we definitely have the style of both Midjourney and Dolly coming out. But yeah, it's interesting results for now. She also photographed celebrities such as Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. McLaughlin Hill was known for her ability to capture the elegance and glamour of the fashion world. She passed away on 2013. Again, here, I think Dali has something with shadows regarding this photographer. And obviously the style, um, the pauses, the really fashionable uh, kind of uh, more elite, uh, elite feeling uh, style could go in fashion magazines. I think it's an interesting result. Um, one thing to note with Dali since a few months now, um, here's it's an extended uh, canvas where there's two rendering ac renderings actually. I think the tool is kind of in its updates kind of made the, the framing too tight. So here I had to extend it to have something interesting. And and on the right, that's Midjourney, a classic Midjourney style looking picture, maybe inspired by the photo photograph. But yeah, let's let's check that later. So yeah, um, so if you hadn't. Uh, guessed before or hadn't read the title. Um, the photographer this week is uh, Francis McLaughlin. Um, yeah, so artificial intelligence, could you tell us a bit more about uh, the style of the photographer, what differentiates uh, her from other photographers? Francis McLaughlin Gill's style is known for its elegance and glamour. She had a keen eye for capturing the beauty of fashion and the people who wore it. Okay, so now... Those two results, very interesting. Uh, I, I, I will really reinforce uh, the results from Dali this week where there's a real focus on, on those shadows, uh, projected shadows for the models. I find really more interesting the pauses from the subjects um, until now. Um, 
but uh, all is black and white for now with uh, with Dali and color with Mid Journey and actually an interesting result that could could look at like McLaughlin's uh, style actually. Um, I like the colors. Uh, there's some kind of, uh, of appearance uh, of them. How their how the makeup is, how the scene is composed, which would which would co- that could correspond. Her photographs often featured striking poses and composition, which highlighted the clothing and accessories in her images. Here again, so Dolly kind of forgot to put a shadow this time, but but. Stylistically, I think the the dress is interesting. The pause is interesting too. Could go into Francis McLaughlin's um, style, but again, still black and white. Um, on the right, more classical aspect of the Mid Journey picture. Very well rendered. Always more hyper realistic than Dali. Uh, and yeah, there's a classicism in 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 the way Mid Journey uh, renders the pictures. That, Kind of makes me think of Frances McLaughlin. McLaughlin Gill's use of light was also notable, as she often used soft, diffused light to create a dreamy and romantic atmosphere in her photographs. Here, an interesting result for Dolly. Uh, it's going to color for the first time, but um, I guess that gives us a clue on, on the information on which Dolly was trained. Uh, it looks more like uh, a print from an old magazine from the time rather than a picture. So I think it's really relying on information which is either photographs or scans of magazines of the time. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really look like the scenes usually Francis McLaughlin used to do. And that's an extended canvas, obviously, uh, from Bali. Not very, but interesting picture nonetheless. And on the right, I think Midjourney sticks to its guns. Uh, really classical, uh, very well rendered with strict pauses. Not very McLaughlinly for me, but um, good results. She was also known for her ability to capture the personality and character of her subjects, particularly in her photographs of celebrities. Here, an interesting pause for the model on the left uh, was Dolly. I'm not sure that corresponds to the style and time of the photographer, but yeah, interesting try. Um, on the right, that's something more interesting that could uh, go towards uh, what I know of her work. Um, very detailed. I like how the dress is managed. Maybe some photographers also correspond more to the Midjourney style, and, and that kind of hides the flaws of the AI. McLaughlin Gill's photographs often conveyed a sense of intimacy and personal connection, which set them apart from the more formal and staged images typical of fashion photography at the time. Here on the left, in my opinion, not at all Frances McLaughlin, but definitely AI looked at the star thing. Um, in my prompt, uh, Francis McLaughlin taking pictures of stars and famous people, celebrities. Um, here, I'm not sure about the joints uh, of this model. Uh, she looks to have, I don't know how, how her legs work, but, and yeah, not very convinced on this picture. But on the right here, Mid Journey really comes with something very hyper realistic, hyper photographic that could get into Francis McLaughlin's work. Um, maybe that's also a, at one point where I could talk about the interface. I think it's very important how we interact with AI. And Mid Journey added some tools to extend the canvas, um, which are very user friendly, that are very photographer uh, compatible, I would say. It's a good vocabulary, good visual vocabulary, how to manage it. While Dali is more like a computer specialist's view on how to extend a canvas and, and re-render images. So I think that actually has an impact on the way I generate the pictures. Additionally, McLaughlin Gill's photographs were characterized by their timeless quality, which has helped them to remain relevant and iconic decades after they were first taken. This is thanks to the way she captured the essence of the fashion, her use of natural light and the way she poses her models. Here again, I think Dali is inspired with a data set that comes from uh, scanned magazines. So interesting to think about uh, copyright claims and what 
where does the information come for the training and who owns the rights. Uh, we definitely see this uh, color distortion that we, we could find in the way magazines were printed at the time um, on this uh, picture from Dali. On the right, that's uh, basically the similar prompt to the one I had on the two pictures before with uh, Dali. Uh, it's a celebrity. Could be inspired from someone like Marilyn, I guess. I'm not sure it's really Francis McLaughlin. -y. I don't know if that's a word, uh, but uh, very clean. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say about this picture. But as we have a, a, an AI... Francis McLaughlin at our disposal. Let's ask for a custom creation. So this custom creation would be a fashion show happening in New York uh, in a grand hotel in 1953 with journalists and photographers in the room, a photo in the style of photographer Francis McLaughlin. Again, like the previous weeks, um, even so I, I modified the geometry of this uh, playlist episodes. Um, we start with four pictures from Dali and then four from Midjourney. So here, Dali, I think it's completely off in terms of style. It's trying to express the Grand Hotel, the photographer thing with uh, a fashion show, maybe. Not sure about the picture on the left. Again, that's a selection of the best pictures that came out, but they all came out with basically the same. I'm trying to be representative of what comes out. On the right, it could look more like a fashion show. We definitely see some cameras. Imagine some cameras. Um, but yeah. Here, finally some color. Um, maybe not that magazine-like. So I don't know how, how Dali decides to go to color or black and white. But I don't find the style from Francis McLaughlin in both those pictures. But definitely trying to... It's trying to create that feeling of a New York Grand Hotel and of a fashion show. Not sure again on the right. Everything's mixed up. I think it's really mixing up the different subjects and trying to do some composite thing. Not very convincing. As for Midjourney, I think here it's pretty good. Um, I would f feel some stylistic inspiration from Francis McLaughlin, actually. Uh, we definitely feel, feel in a, one of those big grand hotel from New York. It could be in another city, but I think the the size makes it more New York-y. Um, we definitely see that it's a fashion show or something like that. Uh, the pauses from the models. We feel also the cameras and the photographers. Uh, maybe as I said before, uh, Midjourney is more is closer to Francis McLaughlin's style by nature so easier but yeah really nice results here again uh, here i think it's really actually even better uh not sure where the photographers uh, are shooting their cameras at but um i really like the way uh, the lights are managed how the scenes are are, are composed um and yeah I, I do feel there's something stylistically that that could correspond so yeah um Again, um, that was meant to entertain first. Uh, the information, I don't really verify it. I have some notions uh, about the photographers. Um, I've done some of my homework. Um, but I, I would highly recommend you, you go check Francis McLaughlin's work in books uh, online and museums. And, and go check the information if you're interested in, in more, knowing more about her. Uh, great piece of work. And yeah, hopefully that was entertaining and catch you next week. Mm -hmm.